lovely stretching. Oh, what is? Wow! What a nice pool! Uh, yes! Isn't it smashing? <laughs> How about to swim for us then? Sorry, members of Walter's Swimming Club only. How do we join? Well, rule one is you have to swear endless loyalty to me. And rule two is. Oh, hang on. It's the same as rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Dream on. Not going to happen, Walter. You'll just have to put up with the heat then, won't you? <sighs> Oi, are you boys? You all know there's a water shortage, so no, no, no wasting water, OK? Us wasting water? What about Walter and his pool? D never mind, Walter. His pool's already filled. I'm telling you lot, and, uh, and, and remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. So now we can't even squirt each other with hose pipes. <sighs> My tongue's sweating. How are we going to cool off? There's only one thing for it, lads. We'll build our own pool. What about the water shortage? Don't worry, I'll think of something. First, we need to dig a big hole. Come on, Nasha, do your stuff. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> too hard. We need a spade. Oh, what about this? Need a bit more power behind it. Hey, look! Me old pool gold stick. That'll do it. Here we go, lads. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Yes. Great, Nasha. Uh, uh, the heavier we are, the better! Room for one more! And me! That's right, lads! Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> Then it's an awfully big hole. So what do you think this is, Dan? I reckon this is the old Beano Town drains, which means there's got to be water around here somewhere. Hang on, what's that? Sounds promising. According to my calculations, that'll lead up next to the Colonel's garden. Let's check it out. Action stations. Dive! Dive! Bingo! It's the Colonel's place, all right. And he's sitting in a big paddling pool full of water. Uh, uh, is there uh, enough to fill a pool? It'd be a start. What about the Colonel? We'll just have to get rid of... saying, oh, we'll just have to get rid of him. Oh. Do your stuff, my fishy friend. Yes. <laughs> Galloping Gators, a piranha, abandon ship. Retreat! Retreat! Ha ha! We've got the Colonel on the run. Now, all we've got to do is siphon off his water. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Oof! Yes, yes. <laughs> oh well. At least 
it's cool down here. Not the same as a nice pool, though, is it? Don't worry, Pie Face. We're going to get our pool and the water to put in it. Hang on, this looks hopeful. I'll take a look. Plenty of water. It's the overflow to Beano Town Lake. I think emptying Beano Town Lake is such a good idea. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, that sounds more like it. It's Slipper! Cooling off with a Pipe and a garden sprinkler. What a cheek. After all that Guffy gave us about not wasting water. Exactly. Well, I don't see why we can't borrow his hose pipe. We could run it back to my place. But what about the ban? It's a police hose pipe, Pie Face. How can it be illegal? Here goes. <laughs> Known. He's on to us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, you hooligans. I know you're down here somewhere. <laughs> oh, crumbs. Which way, Dennis? Um, uh, this one. No, yeah! oh, oh, they must have gone that way. Unless, oh, Dennis left that door open to put me, uh, to put me off the scent. Well, he, he won't fool me this time. <laughs> Certainly not. It's not what it looks like. Oh, here we 
we've waited for them to do the parkour. It's got to be the most amazing park in the world. Yeah, imagine all the brilliant slides and roundabouts you could build in a year. Yeah, maybe they've got water slides and, and a roller coaster. Yay! <laughs> Hang on, where's all the fun stuff? Where's my roller coaster? Maybe the play park's been moved because it's so big and great. Ah, well, we're here now. Might as well make the best of it. Hooray! On me head, five face! I got it, I got it! Come on this way! Hey, over to me! Oi, you lot! Can't you see the sign? No ball games! We're just playing, mister. I'm not going to win Park of the Year with scruffs like you around. We're just having a bit of fun. I said no ball games. Ah, no one messes with parky bowls. Cooey, Dennis! Isn't it lovely, Dennis? Look at these daisies be picked for me. Daisies? Please! <gasps> This is just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Fancy a game, Dennis? Don't push your luck. Yes, in the park. Rally the troops! Fire cannons! Boy, what's your game? No cannons in the park! Didn't you see the sign? But I've been doing these historical reenactments for years. Everyone likes the Colonel's battles. Yes, it's a park tradition. Oh, those park daisies, madam. Oh, um, um... No battles. I'm not having it. Now, clear off. Or I'll have the law on a lot of you. Go on. You've not heard the last of this, you horrid little man. What a rotten day this has turned into. That rotten parky has ruined the place. Dennis, look! Hey, things are looking up. <laughs> it's all the old park stuff. The parky dumped it all. How could he? My favourite swing. Here's that dent from when I fell on the slide. They look like giant dinosaur bones, don't they, Nasha? <laughs> dinosaur bones! Hey, that gives me an idea! Come on, lads! Maybe we'll get our great day in the park after all! Well, it's taken all day. Well, that's the last of it, Dennis. Good! Just time to get to the park before it closes. Now, will you tell us what you're up to? Absolutely! Nasha, would you do the honours? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pond! Oh my! <laughs> it's a pond monster! <laughs> Young man? Monster? Uh... 
Oh, hang on. There's Walter and Parky Bowles. Walter, how does it feel to be the only one with actual pictures of the monster? I just want to help science in any way I can. Parky Bowles, a whole year working on the park, and now everyone just wants to see the monster. Will this affect your chance of winning Park of the Year? Oh, yes, absolutely. I put my life and soul into this park. You've said you believe the monster is a hoax. Is that right? Of course it's a hoax. Come on, lads. Park is getting suspicious. Let's go. How could a giant monster exist in a pond this size without us all knowing about it, eh? Mark my words, this is the work of rival park keepers trying to spoil my park. The park's worse than ever now. Yes, thought that with that monster scaring everyone away, I could have my Waterloo reenactment. Now all these monster hunters are here. If only that monster would come back and scare them off again. Um, I don't think that's very likely, Colonel. What's that? Well, we built the monster to show that rotten parky. You built it? Well done. Serves him right, too. Yeah, but, um, <clears throat> we crashed it in the trees. Crashed, eh? Well, we just need to mount a salvage operation then, eh? Oh, uh, what? Where is it? Ooh, it's freezing out here. Here ah! I am, being blended into that bush for 40 minutes. Well, why didn't you see? Well, it's my personal best in blending. Right, lads, let's get kitted out. We'll soon have this Hulk rescued from the ocean floor. What's all this stuff? Scuba gear from my Navy days. Special ops. But the monster's stuck in the trees. It's still in the water, though, isn't it? Plus, you can't have a salvage operation without scuba gear. It wouldn't be right. Why has mine got a palm tree on it? Yes. Well, uh, blending in again, you see. Never know when you'll need to hide in the palm trees. So you didn't just get the stuff on holiday, then? Uh, let's get this monster back out of the water, shall we? Now, I know all about animals, and if there was a pond monster, it'd be a lot smaller, not the size of a whale. I've no doubt this is a ruse by jealous park keepers. Yeah, trying to trash my lovely park. Is Parky Bowles right, or are we walking into the jaws of a giant monster? Let's find out. Jeff, get the witch. <laughs> <laughs> It's too heavy. We'll never get it back in the water. Ah! We've got a bite, viewers. Good. We'll soon have evidence to expose these rotten hoaxers. Gosh, looks like you were right, Parky Bowles. It is a hoax. Deliberate sabotage, as I thought. Of course, I wasn't scared. A monster that size couldn't exist. There's simply not enough for it to eat in our pond. That was close. Come on, lads. Let's get out of here. You're right, Nasha. We've lost the Colonel. Yeah, you see? This is clearly a slide. Uh, these are swing chains and... What's that? As I was saying, it's just a hunk of metal. Real monsters are green and slimy, aren't they? <laughs> and for something to survive on the fish in this pond, as I said, it'd have to be much smaller. How much smaller, exactly? Well, I suppose about the size of a man. Hang on! Over there! There's something in the bushes! This tin can doesn't even have flippers! <laughs> you mean flippers like those? <laughs> yes, exactly like that. <laughs> ah! A There are real live monsters here. Stay away from Beano Town Park. Leg it! <laughs> I see. How about helping a chap out with his mask, eh? Got stuck in those weeds. <laughs> Looks like we've got our park back. And we don't need slides and swings to have fun here either. No, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that mangy cur scared the life out of me. Come here, you hairy little wretch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Sounds like my tricks 
really livened up the family day at your dad's work. <laughs> I knew I'd find you here. It's my boss, Mr Scrimp. He wants both of us to report to his office right away. Oh, dear. I knew I shouldn't have taken you to the family day. Coming! <laughs> ah, what's his name? Yeah, I want a word with this son of yours. So, young what's-his-name, was it you who put soap flakes in the cistern of the executive toilet? Me? I'm sure it was some sort of mis- Quiet what's-his-name! I'm talking to the boy. Hmm. And are you the same little rascal who put wind-up piranha fish in the water cooler? Stick out your tongue, Miss Jones. <laughs> well, that was just... Fair enough. It was me. Had to liven things up a bit. This place is so boring! No. <laughs> Excellent. That's quite a boy you've got there. What's his name? Eh? The thing is, we're creating a new range for the young consumer and we need young what's-his-name's expertise. How do you fancy creating your very own range of the ultimate practical jokes, eh? We'd call them the Menace Collection. Wow! You want me to design jokes? Exactly. You see, we've been having some problems with our prototypes. Cast your expert eye over them, young man. We tried to upgrade the squirty flower by inventing the squirty bouquet. <laughs> Certainly wet enough, but difficult to direct. Hmm, I see the problem. Let's see how good a golfer you are. What's his name? <laughs> As you see, our exploding golf balls don't always work. <laughs> I see. I'm sure I can improve that lot. Excellent. You have full access to my design team. A good man. Thanks for bringing young What's-His-Name to my attention. Oh, by the way, can you get hold of a pair of tartan trousers and a diamond-checked sweater? Yes, I think so. Good. Then you must join me at the golf club on Sunday. Me? At the golf club? Wow, I, I, I mean... Uh, of course, Mr. Scrimp. Get ready for joke number one, Mr. Scrimp, which Walter's kindly volunteered to test. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Time to give each plant its daily drink. Oh, I see. A new bush. Hmm. Father must have planted it. Wow! <laughs> it's watering me! <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find the squirty bush out wets the squirty bouquet. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, bravo. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello. A, a spherical object approaching me from a, from a westerly direction. Oh, I can't resist it. <laughs> Exploding golf balls. Ha! I take things to the max. <laughs> I love the added helping of green guns. <laughs> A master stroke. Well, what do you think of my outfit? Well, I do. Yes, yes, very nice. Oh, you should have seen that lad of yours. What's his name? He's really coming up with the goods. All we need now is one top of the range joke and we're ready. Ready? Ready for what? Ready to open our first Menace Collection joke shop right here in Beano Town. I'll rent this place to some chap called Ho Ho or He He or something. You mean Mr. Ha Ha? That's the fellow. Anyway, we're going to close him down, then reopen as our very own joke shop. But Mr. Ha Ha's been there for years. Exactly. Time he got another job. But... So put your thinking cap on. I want to see something really special. <laughs> and I'll see you at the golf club on Sunday, what's his name? Mike me, Nasha. I think I must be dreaming. <laughs> so?
So, you found out that Mr Scrimp wants to close you down. How, how did you know that? Cos I'm the one who's inventing the jokes for the new store. Oh, no. Oh, yes. If I come up with a knockout practical joke, you'll lose your shop. If I don't, I won't get me dream job. And poor Dad won't get to the golf club. But, but, practical jokes are my life. Imagine never smelling another steep bomb, never feeling the tingle of a hand buzzer, never scaring Walter with a jumping spider. There must be a way out. Hang on. Nasha, get Curly and Pieface for a treehouse meeting. Top priority. Yes. So that's the problem. To put Scrimp off pranks for life, we need to come up with the mother of all practical jokes. It's got to be the biggest, best practical joke ever. What about a mega loud whoopee cushion? Or a super stinky stink bomb? Or a turbo powered space hopper? But wait, imagine if you will, not just a whoopee cushion, not just a stink bomb, not just a space hopper, but all these things rolled into one bouncy castle. The three in one. This is the ultimate, Mr Scrimp, the greatest of all practical jokes. Mm. Looks just like an ordinary bouncy castle to me. But it's so much more. Really? Presenting the three in one. One, two, three. Three awesome gags in one. I see. Well, it sounds good, but I have to see it in action. All I can say is it would take a brave man to try it out. A brave man, eh? Hmm. How about you? What's his name? Oh, no, uh, Mr Scrimp. I, I really think you should have the honour. Oh, well, uh, all right. Uh, here goes. a leaf out of place, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what the...? Wasn't us! <laughs> oh, oh, I can't swim! Help me! You know what to do, Nasha! Nobody told me practical jokes could be this dangerous. Oh, the project's off. Finished. Finito. But it, no buts, what's his name? Oh, jokes like this would ruin the company. Oh, so does that mean my invitation to golf's withdrawn? Eh? Not at all. Well, it turns out Scrimp's not going to close me down, thanks to the three-in-one. And you've given me a great idea for a mini version. The Menace Ball. <laughs> Watch, listen and smell. <laughs> Plenty more ideas where that came from, Mr Ha Ha. What a brilliant day. Wonder how Dad's enjoying his game of golf. Keep up, what's his name? Come on, man! <laughs> yes, Mr. Scrimp. Of course, Mr. Scrimp. Oh, I don't believe it, Nasha! The 
tickets for the wrestling tonight are way out of my allowance range. Oh, we're going to miss the Mr. Magnifico fight. Mr. Magnifico? Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Definitely animal. Oh, Mum, he's the best wrestler in the tag team universe. Pieface and Curly are going. Could I have an advance on me allowance to get a ticket too? Please. <sighs> Dad? How much are these tickets? Uh, they're only... How much? But it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... The answer's no, Dennis. N-O spells no. Oh! Come on, Nasha. It's not fair, Nasha. Everyone's going to see Mr Magnifico wrestle tonight. Including me. What? You? Yes. It's the perfect place to try out my new moves. <gasps> you? Have moves? First aid moves. I'm a bandage master. <laughs> First class. <laughs> bandage. I knew you couldn't be a wrestling fan. Wrestling? <laughs> Certainly not. I shall be attending in my capacity of junior first aider. With your mum. <gasps> mum? Why didn't she say something? I've only just heard myself. These are the backstage passes from First Aid HQ. Brilliant! Looks like we're going nowhere. These are for First Aid badge holders only. But what? Where do I get a First Aid badge? You don't just get a badge, silly. You have to earn it by passing your First Aid test. Test? OK, I'll do it. I mean... How hard can it be? <laughs> Dennis volunteering to take a test? This I've got to see. So, down to business. When, where and who's the judge? That will be me. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, Nasha. We'd better get some practice in. <laughs> ah, there. That's our studying over. Let's go get that badge. Shall we begin? Dennis, one needs a basic knowledge of anatomy to pass this test. Can you point to the pelvic yeah. bone? There. The pelvis has left the building. <laughs> well done, yeah. Dennis. Thank you very much. Everyone's entitled to one lucky guess. OK. Where's the clavicle? The radius? The carpal? The metatarsals? The... Hey! Where's the skull? I think that's enough academic testing for today, Walter. Let's move on to the practical tests. Did you learn all that at school? <laughs> no, Dad. Living with a bone magnet like Nasha, you can't help learn a lot about bones. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at dealing with a practical test. Bring it on! You stand in as the patient. Me? But I just might... Oh, all right. OK, Dennis. Let's imagine the patient has sprained his ankle. What do you do? I know what to do, Mum. Lots of kids get sprained ankles in football practice. Especially when you're playing. OK, Dad. Time to elevate your foot. And... Apply a cold compress. Coming right up. Nasha! Ouch! Ouch! Frozen fish. Frozen sausages. <laughs> Rolls and chips. That should be enough now, Nasha. Let's go. All done. Thanks to you, Nasha. Hey, where's Nasha? Where do you think? <laughs> Is suffering from heat stroke. What 
you do to help? Uh, call him down? Well done. Yes, but how exactly? Easy! Nasha, jumper! <laughs> Remove excess clothing! And douse with water to cool! Job done! Uh. Hmm. He appears to have fainted. Fainted? We must get the blood flowing back to his head. <laughs> I'm on it, Mum! Dennis, Walter's marking the test, not me. You mean I really failed? Unless you can prove to Walter that your bandage techniques are good enough. Yes. I'll be ready to go to the wrestling right after tea. Here's your pass. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. We've got some serious practicing to do. Hey! What about me? Oh. <laughs> Coast clear, Nasha. <laughs> right, Nasha. Time for the first aid showdown. Right. Earplugs to drown out all the screaming and shouting. Extra safety pins, extra plasters, extra strong smelling salts. I understand the ringside can get a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> Phew! It's showdown time, Walter. Meet the fastest bandager in the West. <laughs> If I win, I get my badge. And if you lose, I won't. Huh. We'll see about that. Hmm, not bad for a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> Beat that! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now that's what I call good bandage technique. I reckon I'd pass now, don't you, Walter? <laughs> all right, all right. You pass the test. You get your badge. Yahoo! Mr. Magnifico, here we come! Help! What about me? Eyes on the audience, not the entertainment, Dennis. Remember, we're here to watch the crowd, not the wrestling. No! No wonder they let us in for free. What a disaster! We've got ringside seats and I can't even watch my hero wrestle. Oh. Uh, sorry, kid. Uh, no problem, <laughs> Mr. Magnifico. Uh, payback time! <laughs> <laughs> He's good. 
gut! What a team! Aye, Walter, look what you've done to our ball! Your ball? Look what you've done to our clothes! Yeah, well, whatever, Walter. How dare he? I'll whatever him. Hand me the bumper book of rules, Bertie. Ah, ha! As I thought. Mr. Bowles, there's an emergency at the football field. Oi! What's this all about? Oh, I was having my lunch. Dennis is blatantly breaking the rules about playing football in the park. You called me down here for that. But it clearly states that when playing soccer in Beano Town Park, Rule 67A, dogs may not play in goal. It's the rules. Rules? This is my park and I make the rules. But... Uh... D -d -d this grass is for playing football. So if you're not playing, get off! Well said, Parky. Maybe your lot should play a bit more sport instead of poking your noses into other people's business. I don't know. Come round. Well, I never. Walter, play footy. <laughs> That's a laugh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's not like you know anything about football. <laughs> I know plenty, actually. I could play if I wanted. Yeah, right. Of course you could. <laughs> right. I will. In fact, my team will take on yours next Saturday, right here. OK, you're on. Right. And the rules are, uh, most runs wins. Goals is how it usually works, Walter. <laughs> uh, Walter, uh, we can't play football. I believe it's called soccer. And whatever it takes, we will win. First, we study the enemy. Oh, some save, Nasha! OK, boys, let's take a break. So, what do you reckon, then? Walter's team will be a pushover, won't it? Should be, Curly. But you know Walter. He's always got some sneaky scheme up his sleeve. Well, I may not know much about soccer, but even I can see that Nasha's good. What have you found out? Well, apparently, it is goals, not runs. And the chap who scores most of them is called a striker. So I suppose we need one of them. Anyone for one of Butch Butcher's veggie sausage bites? Don't worry, Dudley. I'll find us a striker. And you've just given me an idea how to solve the Nasher problem, too. <laughs> uh, what are we doing, Walter? I found our striker, the school new boy, David Peckham. Oh, hi, David. Ready for the trial? Uh -huh. oh, that's good enough for us. See you next Saturday. Uh -huh. Right, we've strengthened our attack. Now to weaken their defence. <laughs> All right, boys. Practice makes perfect. When you're ready. What tricks Walter pulls, we can't lose! There you go, Walter. Five dozen super fat sausages, double cooked in fat. Thanks, Mr. Butcher. They look perfect. Uh, you've got enough there to feed a football team. Or at least a goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who, who did that? You were supposed to stop it! <laughs> That's right. Eat up, Nasha. <laughs>
Almost caught by slipper, eh, Nasha? <laughs> I guess you're just getting old. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I'll always love you, whatever happens. <laughs> uh. Hi, Nasha. Ready for fun? Something's not right here. Still a few more days to the match. And by that time, Nasha will be the size of a rhino. <laughs> Face facts, Den. He's definitely slowed down. And it's not long to our match with Walter. Curly, we could beat Walter and his mates with our feet tied together. Yeah, but like you said, he might have something sneaky up his sleeve. Don't worry. Nasha's still got it, haven't you, boy? <laughs> Oh. Come on, old pal. Do your stuff. <laughs> oh, Den, this is bad. Hey, Walter, ready to give up yet? Give up? <laughs> I don't think so. Mind if I have a go? <laughs> Golly, is that a girl? <laughs> Pyface, you're right. This is bad. What is it, boy? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> hey, get off, Soppy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Worry, Nasha, it's not your fault. Everyone knows you're a sucker for sausages. You go ahead. You could do with some fresh air. I'll uh, <clears throat> catch up with you. One hundred and four percent fat. Bon appetit, Nasha. <laughs> no, Nasha, you can't. Be strong. <laughs> That's my boy. Now let's concentrate on getting you fit again. Sneaky. Poor old Nasha couldn't resist. But he's given them up and we've done some intensive training. Wah! So, he's back on form now. Hang on. That's a new kid, David Peckham. I told you Walter would do something sneaky. Ah, oh, Dennis, you've met our new striker, David Peckham. And how's your star goalkeeper? Fine, thanks. In fact, he's as fit as a butcher's sausage. Oh, uh, I mean dog. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't he be? Huh. Still, I bet he's not fit enough for this. Uh. <laughs> Is that all your striker's got? You did it! <laughs> nice try, Walter. But nobody messes with our goalie. What? You knew? Of course I did. Nasha's my best friend. <laughs> 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 I'm telling 
you. It's the answer to all our treehouse security problems. Forget the stink bomb minefield, forget the laser guided jelly flinger. This is the simple, practical solution. OK, so where exactly do we get a shark for this shark infested moat? Yeah, only sharks I ever seen have been in pies. <laughs> Relax, boys. We don't need a real shark. Just this. The XJ3000 Remote Control Robo Security Shark. Scary or what? <gasps> Not half as scary as the price. Not a problem. It's me birthday next week. All me relatives can chip in and get me it, right? <laughs> Security shark, eh? Nice. I'll ring all the relatives, get them over here and let them know. Great! Half an hour and the house will be swarming with rich and generous aunties and uncles. So what do you say? Does our boy get the birthday goods or what? Got to say, Nasha, I was hoping for a better turnout than this. Where's the other 19? Come on. One little security shark. Not much to ask for, is it, Auntie Beryl? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but year after year, we give that lad presents and not once has he ever said thank you. Well, he's got a busy schedule, hasn't he? Whoopee cushions don't inflate themselves, you know. <laughs> no, Dennis needs to be taught a lesson. So this year, for his birthday, we've all decided to get him nothing. Just say thanks now. That wouldn't cut it. I need to make a big impression and fast. What about writing a load of belated thank you letters? Mmm, letters. Yeah! <laughs> They'd never expect that. It's a lot of letters, though. 23 relatives times 9 years times 2 again for Christmas and birthdays equals. equals writer's cramp. As soon as the old relations get these, Dennis will be their favourite lovable lad again. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town Police Station. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, right away, ma'am. Hello, <laughs> Beano. <laughs> eh? Hey, what are you doing with those? Well, you did right not to open them, ma'am. Letters from Dennis. Who knows what's in them? Stink bombs, itching powder, live beetles. What? No! Don't worry. They'll be safely destroyed, along with the rest. But Auntie Beryl, they were just... <laughs> Oh, Dennis, I've got to get hold of those letters and show everyone the truth. OK, Nasha, looks like we'll have to think of some other way to say thank you. Relatives use this road, see? One big thank you sign here, and everybody likes Dennis again. Um, Dennis, your Auntie Beryl, does she ride a bike? Mm, yeah, why? <laughs> um, oh, hello, Auntie. <laughs> uh, you all right up there, Auntie Beryl? <laughs> I ever gave him. Taking them all back, I am. Back, I say. <laughs> all personnel clear blast zone. Uh, uh, explosion in T minus 10 seconds. <laughs> I've never done a controlled explosion before, Sarge. Hang on. You're the officer in charge. Shouldn't you be doing the big red plunder thingy? Eh? Um, oh. Yes, I suppose I should. Ah, but didn't he say you could do the big red plunger thingy? Yes, he did. Face, face, Sarge. Oi! Give us that back. No, you promised. 
Constable Coughdrop. Step away from the big red plunger thingy. Skywriting? Typling plus joke smoke canister for Mr Ha-Ha's equals a great big thank you in the sky. That's got to impress him. <laughs> oh, I've had as much experience with big red plunger thingies as you. Oh, oh, I'm the senior officer and that's that. Five, four. OK, here goes. One. What? Uh-oh! All right, why on earth have you called us all back here? It's about this. Oh! Have you taken leave of your senses? Those letters will be booby-trapped. Rubbish! They're just thank you letters. Look, I'll open one. <laughs> <laughs> I told you they'd be booby trapped. <laughs> so, what's that meant to say then? Blumagusulagunag? I don't guess it. I'm the one that's going to get it in about five minutes. Dennis! Make that three. Ideas, boys! And quick! How else could you write thank you in big gigantic letters no one can miss? Blimey! Better go see what's up. Look after my white line painting machine for me, would you, lads? One huge thank you right across that hillside. That ought to... Dennis! OK, lads, you're on your own. Don't let me down. Think Mum would like a little word. Uh, smoke? There's been smoke, has there? Yes, there's been smoke from your booby-trapped letters. What? No! Word. So now we're taking everything back, and we mean everything. Great. All I wanted to do was say thanks. Do they really think I'm that horrible? Me, Dennis, the little lad. Chill up, Dennis. Grand's here. <laughs> last letter wasn't booby-trapped. There was a smoke canister on this, um, which we know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> I am not opening that letter. Mm, you may cabbage. Open the letter or I lock the doors and give B the cabbage. Why didn't you just say they were thank you letters? <laughs> oh, I always said he was a good boy. Maybe now we can discuss what you'd like for your birthday. Yes! Result! Just as long as nothing else gets destroyed or defaced. Oops. Here goes then! <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry! Oh, aunties! Oh, thank you! You're right, mate. Forget the white line thing! I... Oh. <laughs> Where's the steering wheel? Where's the brakes? Where's my mum? Oh. Say, is this the way to the town hall? Hmm, that could have gone better. Five miles of paint to clean and no birthday <gasps> presents. Think again, Dennis. Guess what super brilliant grand went and got you? That shark you wanted! Got it from this bloke down at the pub, see? Anyway, I had to stick the thing in the bath. Good idea. Check it all works. Nice relaxing bath. That's what I need after a day like today. Well, it won't be long. So, have you got the shark's remote control there, Gran? Eh? Since when did a shark need a remote control? Um, Gran, you do know it's not a real shark I wanted. Eh? Oh! Ah, Dennis! Oh, my word!